Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode number 40. Can you believe it? I can't. Episode number 40 and this channel is Fluke Fun. So thanks for joining. Today what we're going to be going over is an unboxing of a new meter from Fluke. Well, not really a meter. It's more of an adapter from Fluke. It actually came out in 2021. It just hasn't got much publicity. Um, but it is an electric vehicle like adapter to where you can plug into an electrical vehicle charging station and actually get your readings outside of it. So this is something I am no expert on, but we are going to unbox it, kind of walk through what I know about it from kind of glancing at the user manual. And I look, hope that you'll give me a lot of comments below on where this could be used, who would care about it, if you're a contractor that does this kind of stuff, let us know. We're, we're trying to figure out, or I'm trying to figure out, what does this look like and um, is this a product that Fluke is really on to something and whatnot. Um, another thing, just real quick, we I am trying to get more subscribers. We've talked about this. I'm trying to get to 1,000 this month. I don't know that that's going to happen. We're halfway to 1,000, a little over halfway to 1,000 already. And... We're halfway through the month, but we didn't start at the beginning of the month, so it's going to be a lot of you hitting subscribe if we're going to make it there, but I appreciate the support, and uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so you can see here, got the box that it came in, came in from Fluke, we got the uh, FLK FEV 100, okay. Okay, now this is a different bag than I'm used to. Well, maybe the old, uh, I think maybe there was a bag like this before. I'm not sure what it is, but there we go. Soft case bag. Golly, you have to be smarter than a YouTube uh, creator to open this bag. This is gracious. Okay, so what does it come with? It comes with this little adapting hub. Uh, I guess FEV Con Type 1. Plug that out. You kind of see the uh, connectors in there. Okay, so that's going to plug into your charging station. And then connecting to the uh, tool or the, the adapter itself. Quick reference guide. And here it is. Again, no real screen on it because we don't have an interface. It's not going to take uh, measurements itself. You're going to use this to take measurements through the 4 millimeter banana jack ports that you have. Okay, so we'll get into it more here in a second. Let's see if there's anything else in this bag. Nothing in there. Another pocket back here. Okay. I'm not sure what this bag is. If I can figure out the, the name of this case, I'll, I'll put that in the description as well. It seems like a pretty versatile bag. Got a lot of pockets for you. Oh, look at that. You can even take these side things off. Isn't that fun? I guess put this on your belt loop. Huh. Oh, and little little grippy feet down there for you. So you can drive like a crazy person and not lose your bag. Okay, so you can see this is what it's going to look like um, in my hands. You've got the uh, the connector to the charging station and then the, the adapter uh, where we're going to make our measurements from either a multimeter or a scope meter. <clears throat> okay, down here you can see I think uh, Luke is trying to future-proof this guy because we've got this adapter for, for this, or if you destroy this, I guess you could order another one of these individually. But then um, I'm assuming that new versions of this adapter are going to be coming out and still communicate with this, so you can just buy new ones of these as new charging stations come online. But let's see what that looks like to put these together. You can see there's only... it's. It's Brandon proof. It's idiot proof. So you can uh, only go together one way. You got a little notch out there, a little keyway. 
Huey on that side, so those have to match. It's easier said than done when you're looking through a screen. Okay, so that's what it would look like in operation. And then a little bit about this. Um, so you can kind of see, th these represent different things. I read the user manual to try to understand a little bit. A, when you, when you plug this into your charging station and you're on A, that is simulating, or this thing is simulating the, that you are not, that the electric vehicle is not connected at all. It's just, you're connected, but, but it's not communicating to the charging station as though an electrical vehicle is connected. And then when you get to B, and you can go either direction, and it says CP, it stands for Control Pilot, um, you can go either direction to either of these Bs, and those Bs are going to be as though you are connected to the charging station with your electric vehicle, so you're communicating, but you're not charging quite yet. And then you have either the option of D or C, and uh, D is going to be electric or charging state without the need for ventilation, and C is charging state with the need, or maybe I put that wrong. Uh, I think I said that wrong. I think D is with a ventiliz needing ventilization, and then C is without ventilization. Ventil ventilation. Golly, can I speak? Um, so you connect, you go to whichever one you're going to do. Um, you can push touch here for the uh, ground pretest. If it's if it's all safe, um, no indication. Otherwise, this will indicate, and it'll probably trip out your uh, charging unit charging station uh, if this indicates according to the website it says stop what you're doing and you know de-energize the charging station hopefully that won't light up for you then what you can do is do a GFCI test um, and it should trip out the station the tr station will trip its GFCI you can unplug it the station should reboot itself so you know that your GFCI is working um, PE uh, that is indication I read it, I can't remember right now in the user manual, but what are these ports for and why would you be using them? So you can see they're all four millimeter banana jacks, so if you've got a set of test leads, you've got a multimeter, you know, you would take your, uh, you know, plug one end into a multimeter, the other end right here, so you put red lead on one, black lead on the other, get your um, leg to leg voltage, then you can do leg one to ground, then you can do leg two to ground if you want. So you can kind of rearrange that and get all your measurements. The other thing that you can do is, oh wait, that's not all. Up here on top, so you got two more ports, and this is your CP or control pilot signal output, and if you have an 87.5 or one of the fluke scope meters, what you can do is you can look for duty cycle and you can, based on duty cycle, there's a chart that says how much the max current that this station is going to be able to output. So, cool little thing. I think it's going to help um, technicians save a lot of time and energy. Again, I'm no expert on this. If you have specific questions about this tool or other tools in that electrical vehicle world, let us know. Um, and share with your friends if you think this is a video worthwhile. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. I don't know what else to say, so have a great weekend. You guys take care.